hi you're not live with Julie and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a um, we the people um, tumbler that everybody is doing right now so what I did to prep this is I first did my well first of all I have to show you this base that my husband made which is awesome because I could take it right from this base and put it right on my tumbler so I'm very appreciative for that so what I did with this one is I spray painted it white first then um, I kind of covered the area here and did a square about this size the size I wanted to do the stars um, and I spray painted that blue then I covered up this area and spray painted the rest red. And this is a flat red. It's a Rust-Oleum two times coverage. I'm gonna, uh, probably gonna grab one more thing here to show you. But, um, so that was it. I'm gonna grab my holder so we can put the decals on there. So that has dried for roughly uh, 24 hours so I'm gonna the part I'm gonna do now is I'm going to apply my stars that I cut out with my silhouette so I'm gonna see roughly where I want the stars to go And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, transfer tape on there. Well, actually, I think I'm going to be fine doing it this way. So I'm going to make sure all my stars come off. What I'm going to do, let me move this over so I can show you I need a bigger work area. What I'm going to do is peel from the back in a downward position as, fl as flat as I can. And if any of them, any of the stars start coming off, I'm just going to scrape them back on and just keep working my way down until I make sure I have no stars left. Then what I'm gonna do, and I'm working on quite a few projects here, so you're gonna have to bear with me, is I'm gonna see, I'm gonna fold this and get my center point. should be right about there and I'm going to start in the center and work my way over and I'm kind of right on the bend which I'll show you here on the other side in one second so I'm going to start in the center and work my way down and I'm at the crease with some of these stars here and that's okay so then I'm going to take my scraper and I'm just going to apply these down and they call it burnish I don't know what the hell they call it when we don't know we take another sip of margarita because that makes everything better and I'm just going to do this to make sure my stars are nice and flat and just like before I'm going to start at a corner Peel it flat down like that. Are you guys able to see what I'm doing there? Hopefully. So 
So now we have the stars applied. So what I'm going to do is just make sure they're all pressed down pretty well. I'm actually going to move this. So there's the stars on the cup. And you know what? It's not straight, but that's okay because we're probably going to end up covering it up. Um, I actually kind of want to put that there, but I guess you have to figure out where you want. I really figured I would start this one here. Kind of almost making them stripes on the cup. So what we're going to do is get some Mod Podge. And I'm just going to put it in another container just because I crapped up the top of this one. So I'm going to get some Mod Podge in there. And I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of making this up as I go along. So if I screw it up, I don't really care. So I'm going to apply some Mod Podge on the back of this. Now what I did is I just went on Google and I found the Constitution and I found one I liked. And I just printed it. So I might have to move this over a little bit so I'm not covering up too many of the stars. And I want to make sure it's kind of smooth on there. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply some more Mod Podge on there. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. So if this gets screwed up, don't email me, don't message me. You need to watch the whole video and see. Or check back on my other videos and see how it comes out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of smooth this out once I have that on there with some Mod Podge. Make sure that it's not too bumpy or anything. Oh, that, that looks good. That looks really good. So, I'm going to add a little more Mod Podge because I don't really know what I'm doing. Make sure it's smoothed out. And there we go. So then I'm going to go on to the next one. And what I did with these pieces is I actually burned all the way around the edges. So again, we're going to apply more Mod Podge on the piece and figure out where the next one's going. This one's right on the bend, so this one might have to go a little lower. So I think that one is going to be a pain in the ass because it's right, right on the bend. So I'm going to apply this one. I'm going to let this one come up a little higher, not exactly straight. Okay, because I just feel that's kind of how it's supposed to be. I feel it lays on there a little better. 
kind of like when the flag is waving in the wind. So again, I'm going to apply some Mod Podge. Probably if I had another drink, it might be a little bit better for me here. Apply some Mod Podge. And I'm just going to try and smooth it out a little bit. See if we can get it to lay nice. I really don't like that other star being covered too much, but we'll make it look good. I think they get the idea. So that's where we got the second one. Now this Mod Podge will dry clear. So now we're going to get the third piece. I didn't really know how many pieces I'd need. So I just did the whole sheet um, and I wanted you to be able to see the wording. So I did the pages a little bit bigger. So this one, I'm going to come around to the front and bring it around this way. Okay. So again, I'm just doing these videos for fun and I'm going to need another piece here. So what we'll do is we'll take this piece and put it over top of there. Actually, no, we'll put the other piece there. We'll put the smaller piece there. I'm going to put the smaller piece on there and Mod Podge that down. And I think I'm going to be able to do one more. So I think I think what I'm going to do is do this one, probably starting there. So all I'm doing is just trying to, you know, it's kind of like a puzzle, just trying to make it fit. Um, it's not going to be perfect because none of us are perfect. And I think what I'm going to do is fold that little piece down, but I need one more small piece. So I'm going to take this one and bring this one up around. Here. I think that's going to be cool. And then I'll bring uh, some on the underneath and fold it over, that might be a huge mistake or it might look really fucking cool. I do not know. Won't know until we try it. This again is my first We The People cup. That's what everybody's calling them. This is the Constitution of the United States of America. So I'm old enough that we used to watch Schoolhouse Rock so if you don't know what Schoolhouse Rock is, you need to, to look it up on YouTube. And we learned everything when I was younger on Schoolhouse Rock, like conjunction, junction, what's your function? And there were so many of them. I'm just a bill on Capitol Hill. This is the only form of government that I know because of Schoolhouse Rock. This is going to look really cool. Let me get the glue off my hands. So what I'm going to do is just um, apply some Mod Podge to get this to lay down flat. Um, 
I already have several people asking about this cup, and it's just something I wanted to try. I didn't know how it was going to come out. I think what I'm going to do is put one more small piece on the bottom. So this is a little overkill, but I don't have a lighter down here. Um, so I'm just going to show you. You just kind of torch the end of it. Give it a little, little torch, and then you got to kind of knock it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece on the bottom. This is going to be so cool. The other thing I got to do, I got to put on the bottom, is I have to put one of my trademark butterflies. So I have to make sure I'll pick a good color. I think we might do, because I don't have red. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to get a couple of these um, holographic ones. And I got these at Glitters and Crafts for you. So I'm just going to lay a couple. A random butterfly, because what goes better with a constitution than a butterfly, right? Did I get them all? Oh, one's stuck on my finger. So these are little tiny butterflies and they got all kinds of things there, but that's uh, glittersandcraftsforyou.com. So I'm going to give them a little plug if we can. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Got nothing. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, more Mod Podge on there just so I can get this piece laid down there nicely. And again, you know, I am just winging it. I am new to epoxy tumblers. I had um, some amazing teachers at a place called Wick Street Vinyl. And they are located in Taylor, Michigan. And these ladies taught me how to make tumblers. And they do classes there all the time. Um, I highly suggest... Uh, giving them a try uh, they do online orders they sell vinyl and glitter so let me just smooth some of these pieces out let's see if I can get this to lay down there let me just smooth some of this out again I'm sure these pros are probably watching me like she does not know what she's doing well I never said I did I'm trying this out. You're trying it with me. So, um, I love this brush. This is, you can get this at Walmart, $4.97. I'm just trying to smooth, smooth these out. Smooth out these rough patches. It's probably from too much, uh, too much Mod Podge, maybe? Probably not. So I'm going to smooth these out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry, and we're going to come back tomorrow. That'll be part two. Um, and we're going to seal it with epoxy. So I'm just going to show you what we have here. I'll grab it from the top. So, right there should be good. This is what we have. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Be nice to me in comments. I'm new to YouTube. I'm trying this out. We have a little piece that got messed up there. 
So we're gonna just gonna put another one on there. Woo, look at that, I fixed it. All right, I'm gonna leave this alone because I keep screwing with it. And we don't have to put it on the turner, I don't believe, because um, it just needs to dry. So I'm gonna put it on my handy dandy little stand. And that's what we have for today. So thank you guys for watching and check back again to see how the turner comes out. Okay, love you, bye.